Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome, my dear students, in first secondary to a new lesson in biology. We are talking in chapter one, in unit four, principles of living organisms classification. We define classification as it is arrangement of living organisms in groups according to similarities and differences between each other to facilitate their study. It's arrangement of living organisms in groups according to similarities and differences between each others to facilitate their study. So classification is important because it helps us to facilitate the study of living organisms. And the science of classification is called taxonomy. Taxonomy is a branch of biology, or it is a science that concerns with classification of living organisms in groups on scientific basis. So we classify groups, we classify animals, we classify plants according to similarities and differences into groups like group of cats, group of dogs, group of cows, group of corn plant, group of bee plant, and so on. So each one of these groups is called species. Each group of similar animals or plants is called species. The species is a unit of classification. The unit of the modern classification is called species. It is defined for the first time by the scientist Carlinius. He said that the definition of species is a group of living organisms have similar morphological characteristics that's made with each other and produce fertile offsprings similar to them. Of course, the, the, this way of reproduction and producing new individuals protects the species and ensure its continuity and protect it from the extinction. For uh, some living organisms come from mating to different species, so we cannot give them the word species. The concept species can be, cannot be given, for example, to tigon or mule. These individuals, they are sterile or infertile and come from mating to different species. Um, tigon, for example, come from mating between a male tiger and a female lion. The mule comes from the mating between a male donkey and a female horse. So if I ask you a give reason why tigon and mule cannot be given the concept as species, the answer is because they come from mating to different species and they are infertile, they cannot mate, they cannot produce new individuals of the same kind. Naming of living organisms by the, science, the scientist Carlos Linnaeus, he called the, this naming binomial nomenclator, binomial nomenclator. Conditions of writing the scientific names of living organisms. The scientist Carlinius start to give every species to a, a name of two words. One of them is genus and one of them is species. For example, the cat, the cat which live at homes is called Felis domesticus. The Felis is a genus and domesticus is a species. So every living organism have a name, is given a name with two parts, two letters, two words. One of them represents the genus and one of them represents the species. The first word is written in large uh, number, capital number, and the second word is written beginning by a small number. And it is written in Latin language. Why? Because the Latin language is not anymore used, so it is not exposed to any change. Then the words of genus and species are written in italic letters or in underlined words for distinguish them from other words. Uh, three, each living organism in binomial nomenclature is given binomial name. 
in the first represent the genus and the second represent and it is written in the beginning with a capital letter and the second word represents the species and it is written in a small letters like Felis domesticus as we said the cat which live at homes we raise the cat at homes this cat is called Felis domesticus it is different from the wild cat for example taxonomic hierarchy taxonomic hierarchy you can make some levels for taxonomy so the taxonomic hierarchy start with the biggest group of living organisms which is called kingdom and the kingdom divided into small groups each one of is called phylum so the kingdom consists of many phyla and each phylum consists of smaller group called class classes each phylum consists of many or divided into many classes and each class is divided into smaller groups which called orders and each order is divided into smaller groups called families and each family is divided into genus finally each genus divided into many species so the highest level in classification hierarchy a taxonomic hierarchy is the kingdom and the lowest level in classification or in taxonomic hierarchy is the species dichotomous key the dichotomous key it is a series of descriptions ordered in pairs that lead to identify a non-living organism for example if we are discussing an insect we are talking about an insect like for example uh, the butterfly we say it is it is an animal not a plant and we say that it is an invertebrate not vertebrate and we say that it is insect not crustacean okay and we say that it is insect which can fly it has wings and we say that it has two pairs of wings and we say that the two pairs of wings are colorful so we go directly to the choose of a uh, butterfly importance of classification to facilitate our and or identifying new organism and adding them to their similar groups and it benefits in many other fields of science the modern classification system depend depend on the definition of species as a scientific and basic principle in classifying living organisms exercise write the scientific term a series of descriptions ordered in pairs that lead to uh, leads the user to identify a non-living organism for him the answer is yes of course it is a dichotomous key very good the highest level in classification of living organisms the answer is of course kingdom the lowest level in classification of living organisms yes correct it is the species arrangement our arranging living organisms in groups according to similarities and differences between them to facilitate their classification this is